hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today in this tutorial i am going to show you how we can implement image picker functionality in our react native app so as you can see over here this is our profile screen and this is our edit profile screen and if we click on this image then there is a bottom sheet appearing and we have this take photo and choose from library option currently these two options are doing nothing and in this tutorial i will make these two button functional so that is what we are going to implement today and let me tell you one more thing that this tutorial is a part of a tutorial series where i am showing you how to implement different screens of an app in this app which is called food finder i have already implemented this explore tab where i have shown you how to implement this layout in our react native map screen so if you haven't seen that tutorial yet then you can check that playlist i will link that playlist in the description below or you can find it from i icon also i have a separate tutorial series where i have shown you how to implement this different kind of navigator using react navigation and also how to implement this custom drawn navigator and that is totally a different tutorial series where i have shown you how to implement different parts of react navigation version 5 so if you haven't checked that out i would highly recommend that you go ahead and see that tutorial that will be helpful to you for any kind of react native app so if you are interested in this kind of tutorial then hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified whenever i post a new tutorial on this channel so without wasting any more time let's get started with the tutorial so to add this image picker functionality to our react native app i will use this react native image crop picker package so first we have to install the package so here we have the installation guide so i copy this command and paste it here okay so it has been installed now let's see what else we need to do for ios we need to do this pod install so cd ios pod install okay i made a mistake it's pod install okay now go back to our root directory now let's see after that we need to add this ns photo library users description and ns camera users description to our info.plist file if we want to record a video then we will also require this microphone users description but in my case i will not use that i will use this two permission in our info p list so let's add those things so here after this location access i will add this photo library users description and this camera users description and here in this string part we need to add a proper message to get the permission from the user so we will add these two messages to get the permission from the user you can use your own message as per your requirement now save this file so it has been added properly for the ios now let's see what we need to do for android here we can see for the android we need to add these two lines for the build.gradle file so first copy this one and let's see our build.gradle and under all projects repositories we need to add that so i have added it now let's see we need to add this one but as i can see it's already added over here so i don't need to add that now let's save it after that use support library to our build.gradle file which is located under the app directory so within app there is another build.gradle file and here under this android default config we need to add this now copy this one 
now here within android default config we need to add that so i have already copied it now paste it here now save this one and then to get the permission we need to add these lines to our android manifest xml file so for the camera access i need to add this one and here we have the android manifest xml file and after this internet permission i will add this camera permission and then if you want to use front camera then also we need to add these two so add this one and this one as well now save it now close all these and build our project so first we need to build our project for ios so now here we can see our app is running and now we need to make these buttons functional so for that we need to add on press so for on press i will create this function so this one for the take photo from camera and for choose from library i will create another function called choose photo from library and here i will create that as well now we can see our button is working right so now we can add the image picker functionality in these functions now here we can see select from camera and for taking the image we have this code snippet if you want to take a video then you can use this code but i am going to use this one so this is for open camera and let's see for select from gallery we have this code snippet copy this one and paste it here now save this now after saving this let's see here in ios emulator we cannot take photo and i don't have an iphone to connect with so i cannot show you how this is working but i can show you how this choose photo from library is working okay it can't find the image picker variable because i haven't imported that yet i have to import it from this package save it now let's see after clicking on choose from library we can see our dialog box has been appeared and here we can see our custom message which we have provided in our info plist file right so we need to click on ok and after clicking on ok our library has been opened and we can choose a photo from here so this is our photo and we have the crop facility here and we can set the crop facility on and off here you can see the cropping is set to true if you set it to false then it will not crop the image but as it is set to true we are seeing the functionality here so we can choose it and after choosing it nothing happens because we haven't implemented that functionality yet but let's see what we get in our console we can see we have several information here we can see the image height image name and here we can see the image path right we can use this image path to update our state and also we can use this to upload the photo to our server and currently in this tutorial i will update our state to display the image in this section so now let's use that so for that first we need to use the use state hook and add some state over here so here i have created a state called image and here i will provide the value of this image url so i cut this and here i will provide the image state now save it and here after this console log i will update our state so it will be set image and set image will be updated with 
image path which response we are getting from this image picker then we are pointing to the path of the image now save it now after saving it do this one more time now we can see that our image has been changed now i want to make some changes as well when we are selecting an image that time after selecting that image i want to hide this bottom sheet automatically so for that i need to copy this code and paste it here and also for the height of it i will use 300 pixel as well so that it will be a square image save date now let's see choose from library select our image and let's do some cropping choose it now after choosing it we can see that our bottom sheet automatically disappeared and our image is showing in this section right so it's working perfectly for this ios now i copy this code for this open camera function as well and save it now let's check it for android for that we need to first close this metro bundler ui and then we need to build the application for android so here is our android emulator now i need to build the project for the android and here we can take a photo or choose photo from library now first see the so choose photo from library and then we will see the take photo option from camera okay it will be 300 okay now let's check this choose photo from library now we have the permission access dialog box now we need to click on this allow button here we can see our demo picture is present and we can position our image here also we can do scaling right as we have the crop functionality present now click on this check mark now this image is updated right now let's check this take photo now it's asking for the permission of the camera so allow it now it opens the camera and here we can take the photo and after taking the photo we can do similar kind of adjustment here as well now click on this check mark then our photo has been updated right so it's working perfectly for android as well now i can do some other customizations here if we see the documentation then we can see there are various kinds of property present as i have already mentioned you previously we have the cropping facility to enable or disable cropping we have the width height which we have already added we can use this compress image quality it will compress the image that will reduce the size so i will add this one to our app and i will add this value and also we have this compress image max width and compress image max height if you use these two things let me add this one for this image picker so if we use this compress image max width and compress image max height then we will have this different kind of layout so here we can see different options for cropping so this is the original image this is 3 is to 2 cropping option so this kind of option we will get to crop our image if we use this compress image max width and max height so i choose this one and our photo is updated right so this is the tutorial guys i haven't implemented the upload facility yet and we are not holding the data we are just updating the state as of now and in my upcoming tutorials we will learn how we can store the data and fetch the data from global state stay tuned for that so that is it guys this is the tutorial i hope you have learned something new from this tutorial if you do so then hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and let me know by commenting down below if you have any kind of suggestion for me then also let me know and don't forget to share this tutorial with your friends and colleagues 
सो आई विल सी यू गाइज इन माई नेक्स्ट ट्यूटोरियल इन द मेन टाइम हैव ए ग्रेट डे गुड बाय